the school. Students are hurt. They can't go all around. Just send help. Okay, help is on the way. Today, uh, our juniors and seniors are coming to a uh, presentation. The city of Clearwater is putting it on, the uh, Clearwater Police Department and Fire Department. It's all about making the right choices and uh, really thinking about what they're doing. We're doing it with all the senior and junior activities coming up near the end of the year with uh, prom coming this weekend. And it's just uh, an awareness and get them to think a little bit about decisions because not only could it disrupt their educational career, but their life. And we want them to really think about what they're doing. Um, well, today we're, we're putting on a prom promise, and uh, it's basically uh, based around just making a promise that you're not going to drink and drive on your prom night. Uh, unfortunately, across, all across America, you know, we, we lose uh, lots of teens on this night to drinking and driving, so we're just trying to do a good, have a good cause and uh, do something positive for the students and reach out to them, and hopefully we can make a difference here today. I feel like seeing it makes it a lot more real because it's easy to make a joke about everything and just turn everything into like a big social media like spin-off and like post about it on Facebook and say I'm gonna do whatever I want but when you see actual people like your student body dealing with the actual results of something it becomes so much more of a grippable concept I think. Well it you know there's no turning back when this uh, something like this happens you know we're we're all young once and we want to have a good time and um, you know, but it doesn't need to involve drinking and driving. However, it does happen. And, you know, once it does happen, I think at this age, you know, we kind of think we're invincible and that uh, it's not going to happen to us. But I can tell you from experience, I've seen it numerous times. I've had to witness uh, kids in, in dead in car accidents, and it's probably one of the hardest things um, to go through. He has IVs and both arms, and we also sent They were not speeding. They were T-boned by an older model of Mons going 92 miles an hour. The impact drove them into the 7-Eleven sign poles and the concrete light pole. As you can see by the car, all four of these healthy, athletic men were crushed to death instantly. This is, uh, on my mother's side, I only have one cousin, Amy, and she's like my sister, really. We grew up together, and then our children grew up together. So this is her husband, Roy, and these were all three of her sons. So the accident um, ended up killing her entire family. Extremely important for them to understand that this is a reality. Teenagers tend to have that immortality piece to themselves. They don't think that this could happen to them, and I try to explain to them that it can and does happen to them. Um, and I also want them to understand that it doesn't just affect the immediate victims, but it affects, you know, it's like a spider web. It just, the ripple effects go on and on and affect the entire community. Please talk to your kids about it. Make sure that they're thinking about making the right decisions and, and doing the right thing. And, you know, our parents are great. They do a good job of talking with the kids and communicating with us. And that's what it's all about, all of us working as a team. Make the right decision and think about, I don't know, my mom always says, if I wouldn't be okay with seeing you do it, don't do it, which makes so much sense. And so just think about it. And really, if you plan to drink, like a, pr a production like this isn't going to stop you, but at least make the right decision to have a designated driver or call a taxi. Like make the right decision so that you're not impacting other lives by your poor decision.